so for today's video, I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup routine that I wear to school. This is a really natural makeup look, so I think it's perfect for going back to school because it really just takes me about 5 to 10 minutes in the morning. If you want to see my everyday makeup look that I do when I'm going a little more full out, so that's like eyeshadow and more face makeup and stuff, let me know if you guys would want to see that. So instead of doing a voiceover, I'm going to be talking to you guys through this video, so if you want to see how I get this very natural, very doable look, then keep on watching and let's get started. So for school, I pretty much only wear concealer because BB cream and foundation for me personally is just too much, plus I don't think I really need it. And like the first three months of school is volleyball season and I stay right after school, so I don't really want to, you know, go to practice with like a full face of makeup, so all I use is concealer. So depending on what shade I am, like if I'm tanner or lighter, if I'm tanner, I will use the Naked Skin by Urban Decay, all-time favorite. And I got this one, the NARS Creamy Concealer, you guys have probably heard of it. This is in a lighter shade, so if I'm wanting more brightness, or if I'm on the lighter side, then I'll use this one, or I'll just mix the two to kind of get like an in-between shade. Right now, I'm on like the darker side, so I'm using the shade Medium slash Dark in the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I don't have a mirror. So I don't do that whole triangle thingy that beauty gurus tell you to just because I don't know I feel like if you only do if you do that full triangle underneath your eyes and you don't wear like foundation or something else with it then it kind of looks weird so I just do a couple dots but my under eye circles can get pretty bad in the morning especially when I go to sleep late and I wake up early so I blend that in with the beauty blender and this thing is the best if you don't have one you should invest in one. It's great. This covers everything that I want it to, which is perfect. And if I have any blemishes, I'll cover that too. But right now, my skin is doing pretty well. And then I recently got this, the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I know people have been talking about this for a while on YouTube, but I'm hopping on bandwagon now. It's no secret that I need some brightening. The dark circles, you guys know, it just gets so bad, so. I put this on a brush and then I just put that underneath my eyes and I can tell the difference. It really helps my like under eye concealer not to crease and it makes it last all day which is always a good thing because you don't want your makeup to fade or slide off your face. And then I also put that on my eyelids too because I don't really wear eyeshadow so I just like to have my eyelids nice and matte. Now I'm going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent. You guys have probably heard of this before, but I just like to put that all on my face to mattify it. And even though I'm not really setting anything because I already set my concealer, I just like to have a layer of powder on my skin since I kind of have like oily skin. But my camera's going to die. So now I'm going to be contouring with the contour kit from Anastasia. I mostly use the... Uh, warmest shade so I do that and I mix a little bit of the cool shades in there too but since I'm kind of tan right now I don't really feel the need to like bronze my face so I'm just gonna contour it to make it look a little bit more slim so I just <laughs> this looks so harsh it'll 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 fix itself don't worry I, I do this every day I know what I'm doing but I put that on my temples too and then, of course, the other side. I'm going to take this fluffy brush. Um, most of these are real technique brushes, by the way. And I'm going to blend this. I don't wear blush every day, but I would say like three out of the five days of the week I do. So when I do wear blush, I use the Maybelline Master Highlight Highlighting Blush in the shade Coral. I think Coral looks good with my skin tone, and it's like a highlighting blush too. So since I don't wear highlighter to school, kind of like compensates for it because it's kind of like a two-in-one but it has like a really nice sheen and coral it's really subtle you can't probably can't see it on camera but I don't know why I don't wear highlighter I just don't I think it's too much for me personally but this is kind of like a two-in-one like I said so it's kind of perfect and then I'm going to blend again so now that the base is done I move on to my favorite part which is eyebrows if you know me you know I use the Anastasia dip brow I changed from the shade Ebony to using dark brown, it's just lighter, looks better, so I use that. I brush out my eyebrow first, and I do it kind of naturally, but people honestly think it's my real eyebrows, so you know, <laughs> just let them think that. I just kind of start at the middle, which is kind of a weird thing to do, and then I go to the tail, 
and I extend my brows a little bit, not too much to the point where it looks like I made myself like completely new eyebrows. And then I fill in the front because it's a little sparse there. And then I always am blending, constantly blending with my spoolie. I know it looks crazy right now, but trust me, when I finish, it'll look normal. So next, I'm gonna use mascara. Normally, I use waterproof for school, just like I said, the whole having practice right after school thing. I use waterproof just so the sweat doesn't like me to run down my face. If I could, I would prefer to use a non-waterproof mascara, so I'm gonna show you guys that. So I'm gonna be using the Blink Black Lash Primer and the Too Faced Red Than Sex Mascara. These two together love my life. But if I use the waterproof mascara, I use the Rocket. Okay, I just curl my lashes. Normally I have a mirror in front of me. Right now I don't. And first I'm gonna use the Blink B-L-I-N-C Mascara Primer. Honestly, I don't really think this is like a primer. I think you could use this alone because I do do that sometimes. I cut my eyelashes off with an eyelash curler a while ago. Still, I don't think it'll ever grow back to how full my lashes were before. There are some pieces of my eyelashes that are shorter than the others, so I don't think that'll ever grow back because my eyelash curler cut them off. And then I go over top of that with the Too Faced mascara. So that's what I do for mascara. I'm gonna do the other side. That's pretty much it after that. I put lip chapstick on Nivea. If I don't, then I just leave it plain. So yeah, that's pretty much everything I do for a typical school day. Pretty natural, like I said. I don't really go full out for school, but if you want one that I do go for my full out look, let me know. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what else you guys want to see from me in the future, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Mwah.